How's everyone going? Welcome back to another COVID 99A Model Railway review video. Today, it's time for our second Engage unboxing, and what better way to, uh, to do our second one than following with the lineup of our unboxings? Today, we've got the Kato Zero Series Shinkansen. The model itself is ever so slightly younger than our Series 700A, which um, uh, which we saw in our first N-Gage review. So let's take a look through the model. It's pretty well timed this one as well, knowing that the Shinkansen just uh, commemorated 60 years of, since operation of this very train. So let's take a deep dive. The first half of the pack arrives in the standard pack. This features 8 carriages of the Series 0. The additional add-on pack features the last 8 intermediate carriages to complete the full length 16 carriage train. All right, it's time to have a look, a uh, bit of a close look and a bit of a chat on what I liked about the Series Zero from Kaido. We've got four carriages currently on the screen. These four are actually from Pack A, because uh, honestly most of the carriages kind of do look semi the same. So uh, we'll do a quick spin as usual, um, even though it's not usually normal for a review to do so. But we'll do a quick spin and then we'll uh, jump close in and while we do that, we'll also speak through some of the good things of the model. All right, let's begin with our close-up coverage. Uh, so, We've zoomed in nicely onto the front unit. This is unit number one that's currently in the four screen. So, um, let's go. It's a, well, you can see, obviously, the unit, uh, This because this is the Series Zero, uh, this is the classic, um, what everyone recalls as the bullet train uh, knows. So, it's an iconic look of the locomotive. Uh, of the um, main unit. The model itself it captures this very very nicely. The curves are nice and clean. The painting is nice and clean. It uses a sort of creamish white rather than the uh, uh, white uh, on the more newer units. Uh, has directional headlighting fitted as you would expect. Um, so the nose cone does not come off on this particular model. That is fitted to uh, that is a molded detail on this unit. Along the side, the model utilizes glazing that is fitted from the inside of the model, as well as that you do have interior seating on any uh, on all units other than the power unit. Undercarriage detail is pretty, it's there. Uh, there's a lot of electrical boxes as you can see from on the underside of the unit. Um, and obviously you get your bogies. Uh, this unit has more expo one of the more exposed bogies compared to the other uh, sh uh, bullet train units. 
The door, however, is a molded detail. There it is. What's it called? So, uh, yeah. We can see the gapping between the units here. We can also see where we can fit our destination rolls that has not been fitted to the model as of yet. Coming on to the next carriage, this um, we can see the amount of detail has been continued throughout the model. We can see how there are nice grill effects on the roof. It's very, very clean. It's very, very sharp. Detail is looking good as we expect. Into the gangway of the unit, you can see that there are, everything is once again a bit moulded, but the detail, there are some detail there, uh, but it's just, uh, what's it called? But yeah, so. There is no glazing on the centre door. This unit here we have is a green car which means is one of their mods known as a first class carriage. Interior wise does look the same as the others, but we can see that the model still follows the higher quality detailing, at least from the from the older tooling. This mod, this unit also has the panograph fitted. The panograph is a twin arm panograph and they fit it on approximately every two to three carriages. This carriage we have here is carriage number nine. This is our motor unit. The motor unit is nice and powerful. We definitely have, have not seen any problems with it hauling its full rake of carriages. Carriages, of course, is its 16 rake. The unit is also, I think it's the dining carriage, I recall correctly. That's why you've got this massive area which doesn't have any windows. So the cafe bar, basically. But overall, the model has been pretty good. We definitely haven't had any problems majorly with its operation throughout the years. Uh, the motor it still sounds pretty. It still sounds strong, unlike the N700s, uh, but only time will tell. Uses a coilless motor. I'm pretty sure uses a coilless motor, anyways, um, which is seated in the base of the unit. Other than that, I think that pretty much covers most of it. Uh, what's it called? It's a very good model. There's nothing really to say other than that. Uh, details look good. Operational-wise, it looks good. It's uh, following on from the controllers, obviously. Other than the buzzing noise that comes from using a PWM controller, it, the model is very, very smooth, as we will see later on. Uh, the most amount of detail on the unit is definitely on the front unit, which is a good thing because obviously that's what you mainly see on this unit. Uh, the carriages are a bit more bare in detail. We'll go through the shortcomings of the model now. There's not really that many as usual. These are very, very nice models overall as we sort of went through with the detail part. But one of the main, uh, two of the main things I can probably have a chat about is. Uh, firstly, this is an older model. Uh, the details with it is kind of is a bit different to most of the other Shinkansen models that we've had a look at. Uh, it's definitely an older model, uh, older tooling that they're utilizing for this model. Whether or not Kato brings out a new tooling is yet to be seen. We can see from the gangways they're very very bare and they utilize the Arnold couplings. Uh, nothing wrong against the Arnold couplings. It's more that they're just a bit unrealistic, as well as um, uh, the coupling. This uh, the distances between the units are a lot further away compared to the other units, so it does look a bit different because the there are obviously no gangways. In terms of the motor operation, it's pretty good. I haven't had any major issues with it. Uh, of course, this is fitted with traction tires once again. Uh, so it's interesting to see how the traction tires will hold up over the next few years. But other than that, the model seems pretty decent. There's no other major shortcomings of the model that I have noticed in the time of ownership. Alright, let's give it a go at opening up the Series Zero. So this is the motor unit as usual. Uh, once again, there are lighting kits available for the train. Uh, uh, where this, what's it called, each unit, uh, you can fit into each carriage. Uh, in the instruction manual, it does specify which kit is uh, recommended for this set, which in this case is kit number uh, 11212 or 11211, i.e. the 
regular white bulb um, light, uh, lighter bulb color so same one that's used for the N700A anyways keeping the shell off this model is a little bit different to the other one where this bottom netting um, doesn't actually pop off the model it is the shell above it so as you can see the shell is popping off above the frame where a minor bit of flex will unhinge them from the their locking pins the better way to do this of course is not to um, forcefully push like I'm currently doing is to get a card of some form that allows you to push through underneath the unit generally smaller than these and that allows you to basically pull it apart inside the unit we don't actually have any markings this time usually with the uh, with some of the others you have a marking to tell you which way to pull or vice versa but this one doesn't have that you can see this is our internal framing you got the two railings power railings for the lighting rigs there's nothing there for some for whatever reason which is interesting I thought there would be um, so yeah everything else is basically all clip done so if we want to go onwards we can drop the skirting no we can't I should note that uh, this is the first attempt that I am having at opening up this model uh, fully because at the up until this point there has been no point to do so the lower skirting will pop off this gives you access to the bogies you can see the coupling springs here and obviously you can see the motor which is this in uh, center thing and the two shafts that come out of it so due to the way that the uh, frame is held together uh, I am not going to be pulling apart the interior purely since uh, it will mean that uh, unfortunately we will lose oh, what's it called have the uh, everything is being held together from that pin so which is a little bit annoying uh, so just just to ensure that it what what's it called that we won't have a um an issue with the uh, what's it called with it falling apart we're going to not do that but it's self-explanatory on how that works so all right let's do our crawl test once again so we are for this test we will be using the Carto Power Pack Standard SX. The train will be hauling its full 16 carriage rake. We do have two grades on each side of the layer, one side coming down and one side going up. So other than that, not too bad. Nice slow crawl start.
let's do a quick weight test. So we're going to do these three units, the front unit, unit two, and the motor unit, unit number nine. Our leading unit has a weight of 32 grams. A normal unit at 33. This does have a panograph, so that might be the extra weight. And our motor unit comes in at 81 grams. All right, let's talk about availability. So this model, like the N700A, is a pretty old model. It was, uh, it has been out for at least two to three years. However, I'm pretty sure, looking around, there has been more stock available of this particular unit because it is a more, you have to buy it separately. So, availability may be still around, although it's not 100%. It is an older model, although seeing that it was a rerun, uh, look out for another rerun coming up one day sooner rather than later. And possibly even a retooling. Alright, so let's bring this video to a close, shall we? What are my thoughts on the model after now that I've owned it for a decent amount of time? It is honestly a fantastic model to the fleet. It was a second engaged model, and obviously it holds some sort of... It was the uh, second engaged model to the fleet, as well as the first one that was bought that wasn't in a train set. So it holds some sort of special um, uh, and this in my heart. Uh, Definitely haven't had any problems. The details are still there. They still look pretty good despite the age of the model. The only main issues, obviously, is being the gangways um, and the fact we can tell it's an older tooling. But other than that, it does look still look really good. Uh, and especially the little detail parts like the panographs and so on like that. Correctiveness, the uh, livery looks as accurate as we can tell. Uh, the Series Zero did, for whatever reason, have this creamy colour comparatively to the other colours that the uh, Shinkansen now have, which is the white. But definitely does not look uh, uh, does look as accurate as it can be. Uh, operationally, basically been flawless since it first came uh, went in operation. Uh, it's always been uh, it's pretty much since it's running. It's either running its eight or sixteen car rake. I don't usually run anything shorter than that. Uh, other than that, yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, interesting, interested to see how long the once again the traction tires on these models. That's going to be a common theme with most of these videos because a lot of the engaged stuff does use traction tires. So I'm always very interested to see how those will last. The steam engines may be a little bit different to, though in the future, primarily since the steamers they aren't pulling such a heavy load. This is a quite heavy load for any traction tire vehicle, 16 carriages with 15 unpowered. So, as we say, we don't know what's uh, in store for the future of this train. I wouldn't mind going to uh, do some upgrades, put some lights in them, but we'll see what happens in the future. You will definitely see that in a, in a future video if that does happen. Uh, what does everyone else's thoughts? I'm pretty happy with the model despite everything, despite its age. Uh, would I get a new, uh, would I get another version if it was upgraded, so with more detail? Quite possibly so. I do really like the Series Zero. It's a very, definitely nice model to have for the fleet. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed joining for this uh, look and overview of the Kato Series Zero Shinkansen. We'll let the train depart off, but I'm going to reset the camera a little bit uh, for this. And let's shorten the train a little bit.